Hello guys, this is me, Wen from Cambodia, and today I'm gonna answer like 10 questions about mom. Let's start the first question. Have you ever feel bored with your mom? Yeah, is she not talk a lot? Second, do you love your mom? Of course, my, I love my mom all of my heart. Number three, what is a good memory you have with your mom? A good memory I have with my mom when I was on vacation. I think when we went to Florida, yeah. And four, what is your relationship with your mom? My relationship with my mom is like, my mom is my best friend. I always talk with her and tell her everything. Number five, have you ever done something impulsive to your mom? Yeah, I'm kind of like, sorry to mom. Like, I always talk back a lot because like sometimes, you know, like, that's how mom and son relationship uh, number six, do you ever have a favorite photo with your mom? Yes, I have a favorite photo with my mom on my graduation day when I was in high school. Number seven, do you miss your mom when she's not around? Yeah, I really I really miss my mom when she's not around because I feel like I'm missing something. Number eight, do you have emotional time with your mom? Yes, I have emotional time with my mom, especially when she told me about her childhood story because my mom she doesn't live with her mother, she was in a orphan house when she was young. Number nine, what does mom mean to you? Mom is mean everything and she is my world. Number ten, can you say I love you mom in your language? Of course, yeah. Hi, my name is Vicky Ong, I am from Burma. And I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Have you ever felt bored when you was like when you with your mom? Bother? Bo not bother. Bother? No. no. She's always entertaining. Okay, next. Do you love your mom? I do. How much? A lot. Okay. The next one, what is a good memory you have with your mom? Um, coming to the United States with her and my little sister, which we have never experienced before, so she was the one leading us. Okay, good. Next one, what is your relationship with your mom? Uh, pretty strong internally, yeah, but ex uh, externally people can see it, but internally very strong. And next one, have you ever done something like talk back to your mom? No, I don't. I just, if we have problems, I just walk away from the situation because I don't want to take, take them my mom. That would be a very, um, um, unrespectful. Yeah, very unrespectful. Okay. Next one, do you ever, do you have a favorite photo with your mom? Yes. I do. Uh, that was taken at my house in, in on our uh, our driveway on my little sister graduation day. Okay. Good. Next one. Do you miss your mom when she's when she's not around? Yes, I do. Only if she's gone for a week or two, then I start missing her, knowing that you know something is missing when we live together. Okay. Next. Do you have emotional time with your mom? We do, but. Uh, I mean, I do, but I just don't show it. I just don't show my feelings towards other people. Okay, that's good. What does mom mean to you? The world. Wow, so touching. And the last one, can you say I love you, mom, in your language? Hi, what is your name? Uh, Blake Byington. Where are you from? Uh, from Columbia, Missouri. Okay, I'm gonna ask you like about like 10 questions about like your mom. Yeah. Okay, it's alright, you don't want to answer, you just say no. Alright. Okay, so the qu like the first question is like, have you ever had like feel bored with your mom? Feel bored? Yeah, bored. It's like, sometimes like she talk a lot, you just like, just annoy you know? her. Yeah, I mean, I try not to. But, okay. Uh, I would say I have before. <laughs> mm -hmm, okay. And second, do you love your mom? Of course. I okay. Love her. <laughs> and the third, what is your good memory you have with your mom? With your mom? My good memory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was a Mizzou football game I went to against Nebraska, mm -hmm. and uh, she was holding me on her lap, and we scored a winning touchdown, and she dropped me. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. It's all it's impressive. Just, it's just yeah. a family joke. Yeah. Like yeah. she dropped the baby. I was young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Like four. What is your relationship with your mom? I would say like a best friend, honestly. Okay. Uh, we're really close. I text her every day. So. Okay. Yeah. Sound. Yeah. And the fifth one is like, have you ever done something like impulsive to your mom? Impulsive? Yeah. It's like you yell like when you get mad or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, I used to like play pranks on her. Oh really? So just like okay. little things like that. Nothing okay. terrible. Okay. No. Okay. And the sixth question is like, do you have like a favorite photo with your mom? Yeah. Yeah. I what think. is it? So graduating high school, she was in my photo shoot. And yeah. It's a good I memory. Really yeah. Like, so. Yeah. 
And Selvin, do you miss your mom when she's not around? Oh yeah, I miss her right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mama's boy. Okay, and my eighth question is like, do you have an like, emotional time with your mom? Emotional time? It's like when you watch movie together, or you, like... She's very emotional. I, okay. I'm not really like external emotional, uh -huh. but okay. yeah, I mean, for like the crazy events, like a passing of a family member or something like that. Okay, like, yeah. Emotional time like that. Okay, okay. And the nine is like, what did your mom mean to you? Everything. Okay. She, yeah. Okay. And the, the last question is easy. Can you say, I love you, mom? I love you, Mom. Okay. Hi, my name is Shams, and I'll be answering for an interview about Mother's Day. So, question number one. Have you ever felt bored with your mom? I would say yes. I felt bored with my mom, and that's because we have different thoughts, so sometimes I feel like she doesn't understand me. Question number two. Do you love your mom? Yes, I definitely love my mom, and she means the world to me. Question number three. What is a good memory you have with your mom? A good memory would be... My graduation from my high school, and that's because I remember how proud she looked and how happy I made her feel. Question number four. What's your relationship with your mom? I would describe my relationship with my mom as a close friendship, and that's because I can speak with her about anything about my life. Question number five. Have you ever done something inclusive to your mom? And if yes, what is it? Unfortunately, yes. And that's when I was feeling um, down about my life. And so I would get mad at my mom and she would feel really sad. But then I regret it and then you speak about it. Question number six. Do you have a favorite photo with your mom? And if yes, where is it? I have a favorite photo with my mom. And that's when I was a baby and she was holding me. And I have it on my Facebook. Question number seven. Do you miss your mom when she's not around? Yes, I miss my mom when she's not around and I worry a lot about her and I always think if she's doing good. Question number eight. Do you have the emotional time with your mom? Yes, I'm pretty honest with my mom about my emotions. Question number nine. What does your mom mean to you? My mom means everything to me. She's my protector. Question number ten. Can you say I love your mom in your language? Yes. Thank you. So, what is your name? My name is JT Thomas. Okay, where are you from? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, I'm gonna go ask you like 10 questions about your mom. The first question is like, have you ever feel bored with your mom? It's like, so annoyed by her, like when you stay close to her, like, you feel like sometimes she talk a lot, make you feel like annoyed? When I was younger, yes, that was definitely the case, but now that I'm older, definitely more appreciative of that. Okay, and second question, do you love your mom? I love my mom with all my heart. Okay, third question, what is a good memory you, you have with your mom? Oh, I was doing the best questions or best memories with my mom is uh, whenever she visited me in the hospital after my transplant. It's okay. a very good moment. And the fourth question, what is your relationship with your mom? Oh, my mom and I are very close. Uh, I get to go home as often as I can, hang out with her, and she tries up to Columbia, so it's a great relationship. Okay. Fifth question, have you ever done something impulsive to your mom? It's like when you get mad, you yell at her, or like sometimes, you know, you have a hard time? Uh, I've never been really... Never? Also with my mom. Okay, take it as no, okay? Yeah, it's very, very patient. Okay. Sixth question. Do you have like a favorite photo with your mom? I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite photo. You don't have one? I don't have a favorite photo with my okay. mom. Okay. Seventh question. Do you miss your mom when she's not around? I do. I miss my mom when she's not around. Okay. Eight. Hey, do you have like the emotional time with your mom? Like when you watch movie or sometimes you talk about her story, make you so emotional? Yes, I've experienced that with my mom. Definitely. Okay. Like the nine. What does your mom mean to you? Oh, my mom is encouragement, support, and a great role model. Okay, and the 10th question, can you say, I love you, mom? I love you, mom. Hi, what is your name? Um, my name is Rui, and Where I'm, you the, from? Uh, I'm from China, Hong Kong. Okay, and I'm gonna start a question, like the question one, have you ever feel bored with your mom? I mean, like, when your mom talk a lot, you just feel like annoyed, or sometimes you feel tired of her because she keep complaining about stuff. Of course. Okay. Of course, before I, I came to the United States, yes, I hate those stuff. I hate she talk, 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 and they always talk about her life experience, always to tell me what should I need to do, but after I come to the United States, I miss that, and I realize that it's very helpful. Actually. Okay, okay, you appreciate it, okay. I appreciate it. My <laughs> say, uh, two is, do you love your mom? Of course, uh, because um, I'm raised by my mom, because my parents get, got divorced uh, when I was 12, okay. so my mom uh, spent all her effort, trying her best to raise three kids by herself, so okay. I love her so okay, much. Yeah. Okay, and the third is, what is a good memory you have with your mom? 
a good memory. Um, I would say the time I spent with her in a textile factory because my mom um, owns a, a textile factory. It's actually it's a denim. Okay. And then yeah. and most of the time because she needs to take care of me, so but yeah. she also has to work in the yeah, factory. Yeah. So I most they have like more responsible. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then so like if beside the school, then most of the time I would stay in the factory. I yeah, even yeah. slept on the on the top of the fabric. Wow. So because my mom want me to like stay with her most of the time. Okay. So I know yeah. it's it's. Little I know, hard, it's a good but, memory, yeah. but it's okay. I mean, I remember that time I was complaining. Why do I have to come to the factory every day? Why do I have to stay here? I know, coming oh. young, yeah, we want to play. But I, I realized, oh, because she want me to stay with her most of the time. She want to see me. She yeah, want to yeah. make sure I'm safe. Yeah, yeah. So, it's all matter. Okay. It is. But that is, uh, no, I mean like, mm -hmm. Next four, question. yeah. It's your, what is your relationship with your mom? What is my relationship? Um, Best friend, sister, or something like that. I think, very comprehensive. Oh, really comprehensive. Yeah, because um, she's my model because I can tell how hard she works and raise all her kids very responsible, yeah. never give up, no okay. matter how hard. But at the same time, um, after I think the position a little bit changed after I came to the United States. I try to share everything with her. Okay. But so she become like best friend. Yeah, yeah she become like a best friend. Yeah, but yeah. recently, like the past, because I've been in the United States for ten years, but the past five years, I think that uh, the position a little bit changed. Seems like. Um, how to say that I'm I'm the professor to tell her what she need to do. Okay. okay. Did she what, what she tell me to do. Okay. okay, uh, okay. And now she's a just little bit, it, yeah. yeah. She's a little bit try to listen to me, but um, maybe just twenty percent of the listen. <laughs> but okay. That's like, better, right? Process. Yeah. Yes. And the next question: Have you ever done something like implosive to your mom? What do you mean implosive? It's like. like when you get mad, sometimes you just don't listen to her, and sometimes you talk bad to her. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did that um, most of the time in China because um, at that time I didn't appreciate. I thought she's supposed to treat me well, yeah. and I can do whatever I want. Yeah, yeah. And every time I got the trouble, and yeah. I always make an excuse, yeah. and then I just got mad of her. Yeah. And I think we could like be still young, this one, yeah. I was so. Yeah. I mean, my mind was so young at that time. I didn't yeah. appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. But, the next yeah. question: Do you have like, a favorite photo with your mom? Favorite photo? Yeah, it's like go to the football together, wedding, party, birthday. Yeah, I have lots of uh, photos. But Actually, which one is your favorite one? Which one is my favorite yeah. one? Oh my god. Like really make you remember about it. Hmm, I took lots of pictures with her, but if you said which one is the most favorite. <laughs> I know, it's hard for you to decide, right? <laughs> it is. It seems like I don't have it. It's alright, just say so you like all of it. <laughs> okay. I will and, think about that. Yeah, yeah. The next one. Do you miss your mom when she's not around? Of course, um, um, before I came to the United States, never because after like a um, middle school and high school, I move, I am capable to move out from the factory. Uh -huh. So at that time, I never say, "Oh, I miss your mom." But after I came to the United States, and then I start to miss okay. her so much. Okay, yeah, I, I feel you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Okay. The next question: Do you have like the emotional time with your mom? Emotional. It's like. Uh, sometimes when she tell you like about her story, you just feel like so sorry about her or sometimes you spend time together to watch movie and just feel like so sad, you know, like emotional times like uh like say like when your mom tell about like your story like her story, why she get to work with your dad, something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. You you feel sorry for her? Oh yeah, yeah. If based on what you said, um yeah, every time I heard how my father sized people treat my mom's unfairly. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not feel sad, I feel, I feel angry. I wish I can protect her. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay. If, if I have to feel sad, I would say every time when my mom got hurt, or somebody hurt my mom, I will feel sad. But most yeah. of the time I felt angry and I wanted to take a revenge. <laughs> wow, <laughs> the strong daughter, okay. Next question, what is mom mean to you? What is my mom mean to me? It's my life, I mean, she give me the life. Everything. Everything, yeah. because I mean, luckily she keeps me. I mean, wow. not because I was a girl yeah. when I was yeah, yeah, she yeah, identified yeah, I, yeah. I was a girl, but yeah. she still keeps me based yeah. on the culture. Yeah, I really appreciate about it. Okay. Yeah. And the last question: Can you say "I love you, mom" in in your language? Oh my God, I've never said that. Can you believe that? I mean, yeah. because of the culture, <laughs> we never said "I love you." We're very humble. We try to keep everything yeah. in the mind. Now give you a shame to say it right now. We we can we I try to write it down in the mother's. They call yeah. say I love you, but yeah. my mom never have those. This reactions. video is about Mother Day. I'm gonna post it. Yeah. Yeah. Say it. She gonna see it. Okay, okay. mommy, I love you. Uh, Just say it in Chinese. Uh, Mama, I need. Hi, what is your name? Nicole Eckerson. Where are you from? I'm from Rach near Rochester, Minnesota. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go on the question right now. Uh, the first question: Have you ever feel bored with your mom? No. No. And the next: Do you love your mom? I absolutely love my mother. What do you love about her? 
her strong wellness, uh, uh, her ability to navigate life with a fearlessness like nobody else. Um, she is strong, she is confident, and she is extremely wise. Okay, that's good. Uh, the next question, what is a good memory you have with your mom? I think, you know, when I was a child, I had uh, a lot of memories of my mother. Um, some of them, probably the more fond memories I've had of spending time with my mother are in the garden outside, um, in the basement, while she's canning or cleaning, um, just really to have the opportunity to spend more one-on-one -on -one time, more intimate time together was the times that I cherished most. Yeah, really good memory. Okay, the next question. What is your relationship with your mom? Uh, my relationship with my mother is extremely strong. Uh, uh, we uh, are very comfortable with expressing ourselves to one another and sharing um, some pretty intimate and deep thoughts with one another. Uh, she, uh, I value her opinion and she values mine and I feel that I can go to her with about any issue I have. So I can bite in her quite a bit. Well, that's a good one. Uh, the next one, uh, have you ever do something impulsive to your mother? Uh, <laughs> yes. What is it? And I was reminded recently. <laughs> I had, um, at a time in my life when I was pretty young and naive, I had wrote her a letter um, expressing my viewpoints on a certain matter and thinking, a relationship matter, thinking I knew what was best for myself. Had, in hindsight, I wish I would have listened to my mother. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, the next question, do you have like, a favorite photo with your mom? Uh, let's see here. Um, I probably, I, I probably do. Uh, there's one that in particular that I remember of my mother and I um, on our grandparents' farm, on her parents' farm, um, as m myself as a young kid with her, um, kind of in her her peak of the '80s with her princess dye hair. Yeah, <laughs> it reminds you about your childhood. That's why you like it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And the next question: Do you miss your mom when she's not around? Yes, I miss my mother all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I love um, having the ability to be able to have just one-on-ones. There's yeah. a lot. Now that I'm approaching years, a little bit later years in my life, there's so much more that I value from yeah. her and so much more I feel like I haven't learned yet from her. So I really enjoy that time I get to spend with her. Okay. Do you have like the emotional time with your mom? Do I have an emotional time with my mother? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, yes, I think one in particular is when I gave birth to my daughter. Um, it was I didn't a pretty feel it, yeah. intimate moment, yeah. um, and my mother was there holding my hand through, wow. through it. And That's so, the best one, yeah. yeah that yeah. was probably the best moment. And the next one, what is your mom mean to you? Uh, I would have to say everything and anything. Um, if I were to lose my mother, it would be like as if someone sucked the oxygen out of the room. Wow. And so, uh, she Impressive. means everything to me and yeah. then some. Um, yeah. Without her, I would not be the person I am today. So I her, owe her a debt of gratitude for everything that she's been able to teach me. Yeah. Um, the integrity that she's been able to mm -hmm. pass down to me. Um, so that is a legacy that will live on forever. Okay. Wow. Impressive. Can you say, the last one, can you say, I love you, Mom? I love you, Mom. More than anything. <laughs> Thank you.